This is a safe that I picked up from a local restaurant. We actually installed this safe several years ago. The only reason I knew about this problem with its door is because some employee decided to knock the keypad off and when they reinstalled it they damaged the cables. I was able to splice them back together and get it open one more time. But here's the other issue. I have to really struggle to open this door because their hinges are so rusted. They didn't think that was really a problem to call me about. They waited until the other thing failed before we discovered and talked about this. So, this video will be about us repairing the issue with the hinges. The uh, issue with the lock is going to be taken care of separately. In the video you'll actually see me fix that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the hinges needing to be repaired so that we can open this thing without struggling. There you go. Let's take a little break here from disassembly and show you what we found when we opened up the back panel. What you're looking at here is streaks of coffee or caffeinated beverages that have dried on. In other words, somebody has spilled a soft drink or coffee or both on this safe.
Wow, that was a lot of work. The picture you're looking at now is the bottom hinge block with the hinge pin sticking out. Rusted pretty badly. What looks like a washer that's been split is actually a section of the paint off of the door hinge block. Laying on the floor there is the pin out of the upper hinge. Nothing wrong with it, it just needs to be cleaned and lubricated. The bottom hinge pin, on the other hand, is going to be another issue. Uh, let's take a look at see what I do to get it fixed. So let's take a look at the bottom of the safe, especially this corner with the hinge block. The hole in the bottom is used in some cases as a means of adjustment. A special Allen head set screw would be placed in the hole and it could be used to adjust the hinge pin up or down. In this case, it's not used. The hinge pin bottoms out in the uh, about halfway through the hinge block. But if we'll also look here, we'll see that the bottom of the safe is totally rusted. And if you'll note that there's actually large sections of paint that is peeling off. Towards the center bottom of the frame, you'll notice what looks like a beginnings of a hole, a little divot there. That is actually supposed to be a hole, and it is filled in with rust. That's one of the anchor points that uh, uh, the safe was never anchored to the floor, but that's one of the anchor points that has filled in with rust from uh, all the corrosive agents used on this safe for cleaning purposes. Uh, let's continue with the repair. Bent the punch. I don't believe it's moving. Broke the punch. No movement.
So now I've installed, or, or repaired the uh, bottom hinge pin best I can. I was unable to get it out. So instead of uh, taking it out, we just cleaned it up really good while it's still on the safe. I've reinstalled the top hinge pin. Uh, while I was servicing it, I cleaned up as much rust as I could off the bottom of the safe and uh, put a little coat of paint on it. Paint doesn't match, but uh, maybe it'll preserve it longer than it would have if I hadn't done it. So we're now ready to hang the, the door on there. And uh, after that, I'll install the lock. Well, that door moves really good now. If you remember, I had to struggle to move it. There we are. So there you have it, a lot of damage to this safe caused by constantly cleaning the floors and the cleaning people not caring about how they splash water everywhere and cleaning solutions too. Cleaning solutions are actually caustic to some of these paints and such. Uh, if you notice down here, that's the serial number, totally unreadable. Um, it's. Uh, it's been washed off, actually, from all the solvents and such in the cleaning solutions they use. If you remember behind the keypad, it was rusted, it was corroded, actually. That was caused by drinks and such that have been spilled on it. On the interior, we found evidence that uh, Cokes or um, dark caffeinated, carbonated fluids had been 
spilled on this and gone down inside. We can even see evidence on the uh, front of the, the depository door here. So this safe has been well abused through the years. It's not, not that old. It's only about five or six years old. Um, I, I uh, installed this safe originally for this restaurant and now I've uh, got it repaired and hopefully it'll last uh, a lot of years from here on out. We'll have a conversation with the owners, uh, the management at this, this restaurant, let them know what we found in our investigation and, and during our repair work and hopefully this will never happen again but I doubt it. Um, I kind of think it will just because um, some of the employees just don't care and it's unfortunate but that's life. So there you go uh, another successful repair. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all three engines up and burning, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue.